Is there anyone in this country who hasn't personally faced a delay in getting a flat from a developer or not seen someone at least within the family or friend circle worry their guts over a similar situation? The reality is we are dealing with widespread delays in the construction of residential projects across segments, across cities in this country. Why is that happening? And why have we as a nation and consumer accepted such delays as a natural part of the process of buying a home? Hello everyone and welcome to the first real realty debate on NDTV Profit on a subject that concerns everyone, you, me, the developer and even the government execution delays. Once a week, we will take up one big issue of real estate in the country and get to the bottom of the problem and thrash out the solutions and the way forward. Let me introduce my panel today and pretty much it's a 360 degree panel. Mr. Vineet Relia, CEO of Sare Group, a big private equity fund, which is now also into developing in the middle income group projects. Gitambar Anand, Vice President, Kridai National and Chairman of ATS. Samir Jasuja, familiar face by now if you've been watching this show and the space, founder and CEO of Prop Equity, India's best data and analytics company. From the Mumbai studio, we have Kalpesh Mehta, director of Rohan Lifescapes, who's uh, been with a private equity fund as well, and of course now on to the other side, which is the developer end. Vinod Sampath, advocate and property expert to take all the consumer angles of this big debate. Before I come to my panelists, here's some data which we've analyzed, and I think we should start with that, which will tell you how big is the problem that we're discussing. That we looked at projects which were launched between 2007 and 2009. This is prop equity data. These are the projects which should have been completed latest by January 2012. We are sitting in Feb. Three metropolitan regions were taken for this study, which is National Capital Region, the Mumbai Metropolitan Region, and Bangalore Metropolitan Region. I will refer to them as NCR, BMR, and MMR. These are the three cities. So let's start with the projects. How much, how much was launched in each of these cities? NCR, approximately 320 projects were launched. Mumbai, that's MMR, approximately 1,030 projects were launched. Bangalore Metropolitan Region, approximately 570 projects were launched. <coughs> now, that's the big data you should be looking at, and that's what is really the meat of the show. Approximately 45% of the total residential supply that was committed for completion is now witnessing significant execution delays, which means they were to come by January 2012. Not happening. Amongst the three metropolitan regions, Hold your breath, which is the biggest culprit? Which region is actually delaying projects the most? It is NCR, National Capital Region, accounts for the maximum project delays. Bangalore, witnessing the least project execution delays. Curious picture, so I'm going to first go to the guy who's culled out all the data, Samir Jasuja. Samir, this is stunning data. We all have faced the problem at some end. If we're not a home buyer, we've heard of stories where execution delays have basically caused a lot of emotional grief to the family. But 45% execution delays in three cities. Right. So basically, uh, if you look at, you know, uh, the main reason behind that is that uh, NCR has contributed a lot to that. Uh, only 23% projects have got executed in NCR, and that's primarily because of the number of projects that are announced over here are very large compared to MMR and uh, BMR. Uh, the other big reason is that, uh, you know, the real estate market really picked up after the subprime crisis and many, many projects were announced. Uh, the developers did not have that kind of execution bandwidth. And when the market started to pick up and there was this private equity opportunity also there, so they kind of used funds from one of the land banks to buy, procure more other land banks. And that has been the main reason why projects have got delayed. Overcommitment, over ambition, launching too many projects. Gitambar Anand, I know ATS has a great reputation. You don't have to be accountable for any direct questions here, but you represent Credai. So tell me, is that what happened? Be builders and developers got extremely ambitious and kept taking money. What I understand from Samir simply is that they kept taking money for one project, buying land for another one, and they just overextended themselves. No, I will not agree to that, uh, agree with that, because maybe in some cases that could be true. But 
you know real estate execution is a very vast subject you cannot just say it got delayed because of x y z there is a labor issue over there there are sanction issues over there there are financial issues how to get your uh, money organized to build what you have committed uh, then there are raw material issues you can't just uh, say you know that the builder has a malified intent and he intentionally wants to delay uh, possession because he's actually you know, harming his own reputation now there are two kinds of developers one is the guy who has no intent to deliver mm -hmm. he of course should not so be you're agreeing that there is there of is course, of a course. part of the developer community which gets into this business yeah, they're not, they're, they're not with so committed. very honest intentions. Yes. Let's just say it. See, the biggest villain in this whole story, one mustn't forget that the developer is at the mercy of the urban local body for permission. Now, you can start selling after your plans are sanctioned, but you can't start construction before you get MOEF clearance. Right. Now, MOEF clearance has to be taken on a project-to-project -project basis. This clearance may take six months, a year, 18 months. There's no closure here. You apply to the ministry or you apply to the state uh, uh, environment uh, department. Uh, you may get your permission in six months, you may get in a year, you may get in, in, a, in a year and a half, or you may not get it. So we have been pushing as an association with the Ministry of Environment and Forest that you have master plans laid out for all towns and cities. If you have notified a particular master plan, please give the environment clearance for that master plan also, so that as individuals, we don't have to go back to the ministry for an MOEF clearance, because these permissions are actually used as a leverage to actually blackmail the developer into maybe sometimes uh, ex extorting money from him. All right, so that, that, that's a really big statement. So, yeah. so here's my next question. I, I, I get the gist that yeah. there are lots of delays. It's not in your hands. Yeah. You're waiting for a lot of approvals. And there is no sanctity to when you will get that approval. It could happen in six no, months. There, it could there's, happen. There's, there's another uh, twist to this story. Now, when I have taken that particular land in an auction, I'm given a particular uh, period to finish my construction. Let us say they say five years from the date of auction, you are supposed to complete the construction. Right. My MOEF clearance doesn't come for, let's say, a year and a half. And I have to do more than a million square feet, like Samir very rightly said. The volumes in the NCR are huge. Nobody is doing a development less than a million square feet. Whereas in other parts of the country, uh, especially in MMR, they're very small developments. So I may not be able to complete my entire construction in that balanced three-year period. Then I have to go back to the government to extend my five-year period for another two years. Now, going back to the government again for an extension may take another six months. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.